Hello, and thanks for tuning in to the first of many, hopefully, PSA return videos. I've uh, been doing this for about two years now and just decided to start recording my return videos. Because um, I know a lot of people like to see these and uh, I do send quite a few cards for for customers. So I um, figured I would try the whole YouTube thing out and record. So here we go. This, this return I sent on December 21st of last year. So... Uh, it took about six weeks um, for PSA bulk, which I think is pretty good. Uh, they've been getting a lot better with their return times. Um, this submission mostly consists of the Japanese, a shiny treasure EX, and I do have, I think, some older cards um, that a customer sent and also some One Piece. So uh, I'll start going through the cards. Um, yeah, a lot of these baby shinies, uh, I thought were good cards to get graded. So I go through the cards here. Entei, Scyther 10, Snorlax 10. Such a happy looking fella. Our order, I have a couple suppliers from Japan that I've been ordering cards for, for a couple years. Uh, that I've been ordering cards from and uh, I order the singles and go through them and then send send them to PSA the Mew EX such a nice looking card Charizard of course and Charizard 10 Okay, we got some classic collection Charizards. Now these came out in English, uh, kind of like a board. Came with a board, kind of like a board game type deal. It's a very expensive box, but in Japan they also came out with them. Uh, and the the shininess is, are quite nice compared to English. Um, yeah, so we got another ten there. Another ten. I got a random 151 in there, um, Erica's Invitation. 151, uh, I've sold a lot of those boxes in Japanese and English, and it's a very popular set. I mean, it has a lot of nice arts, and I mean, this is one of the most valuable trainer arts. Okay, back to Shiny Treasure EX. Uh, Clive, I th thought it's a very nice card it's got. A lot of different Pokemon. You got Sylveon and uh, Psyduck and uh, just a load of Pokemon. <laughs> Pretty much it. Uh, I think a lot. I think it was a very popular card uh, when it came out, and that's why I ordered some. So I got the 10, 10, here's a 9. Um, yeah, it's in the Percentage chance of getting 10 in Japanese is quite high. The odd time I get nines, um, just kind of the luck of the draw. But, uh, the students, this card dropped a crazy ton. I think it's only like a $5 card now. Um, unfortunately, I think I got a lot of nines. Uh, there's a 10. Nine. 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 Okay, and a Mimikyu fan favorite. And they box the box art for the English set at least. Okay. Now we're on to some One Piece cards. I'm not as familiar with One Piece. This was a uh, customer that sent all these. Um, the English of One Piece seems pretty good quality. So we got a 10 there. That's a nice art. There's a nine, ten, ten koala, a ten Sanji. Sorry if I butcher any of these names. I'm not familiar with One Piece. Capone Gang Beggy, ten. Monkey D Luffy, eight. What happened there? Hmm. 
Sometimes you just don't know why things get eights, things get nines. There's some things that I get a 10 and I'm like, oh, it should have been a nine or something. But yeah. so 10, Sakazuki 10, Emporio Evenkov 10, 10, Edward Newgate, Nami, that's a cool looking art. Charlotte Pudding. Ten. Yamato. Ten. That's a cool art. It's the flowers in the back. Okay, here's some more classic collection Japanese. Got a Blastoise. Ten. Venus or nine. And then a CD promo Blastoise. Six. Dusty. Yeah, there's definitely some whitening in the corners. Um, I wouldn't say a six worthy whitening, but there might be some kind of a surface issue. That's usually, if it's a mint card and it's a six, there's usually some kind of surface issue. But yeah, the foil on that is great. That's it for this submission. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Until next time.